This is a, a quick uh, unboxing and a short review for a trail camera I picked up off Amazon recently, the You So Good um, TC30 trail camera. And it looks a pretty decent um, trail camera. Okay, so let's uh, quickly unbox it and see what we get inside. Right, so uh, an accessories box. I'll open up uh, that in a minute. Let me just get the, the main trail camera out. So that's the main trail camera, pretty uh, rugged, uh, waterproof enclosure. Um, you also get the user manual. User manual looks pretty decent, looks uh, quite detailed, so more than enough setup. And uh, I think that's a warranty card to get your um, to get your trail camera registered and um, eligible for uh, extended warranty I believe. Right, the accessories um, box contains um, a mounting strap, so if you want to mount that to um, uh, something like a tree or a, um, another suitable object, that's, uh, that's what that's for. That's um, mounting equipment. I'm not sure I'm going to necessarily uh, use that, but that's uh, that basically screws in, I believe. Sorry, at the bottom there, and then you've got a. Um, I think that's a charging cable or a power cable. I'm not quite sure what that is, how that functions at the moment. Um, so that's uh, that's everything um, that you get within the, the package there. Right, so on to the main um, unit now. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is um, insert some batteries. Now this takes uh, eight AA batteries. Um, you don't get this with this package uh, for whatever reason. So you need to unclip the the battery compartment at the bottom and you need to just insert the the batteries in alternating directions so you've got two facing up then two facing down and uh, so on so you've got a total of eight batteries um, the the battery cover should give you an indication which um, which way up it is because you've got the polarity markings on there so that should uh, give you a guide Right, so I'll clip that back on. And that battery compartment, by the way, is fully waterproof. So if we unclip um, from the side, that then opens up and reveals the, the main control panel. Okay. So we've got the on off switch there. We've got the bank of um, uh, infrared LEDs and then we've got the various control buttons to navigate the menus um, to control this. Um, the on off switch uh, is actually a three position switch. At the moment it's on, set on off. The next um, position you push it into is um, set up. So if you want to make any settings, you'd push it into that position. And then the third position when it's fully up is the um, the on mode, which is basically the working mode you typically have um, this set up in. Um, right to the side, you've got um, a USB port and uh, you've also got the SD card port. Now, this again doesn't come with an SD card, so you have to provide your own SD card and you will need an SD card um, if you're looking to record anything. So 
typically an SD card um, goes in upside down so it gently clicks in and then clicks back out right so that's your main lens there and then you typically have this cover um, covering the whole thing right I'm just gonna click it into the first position which is the setup and you can go into here and make the uh, the necessary settings um, I'm not going to go into um, these uh, in in particular because uh, you you just need to um you 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 just need to have a look at uh, you just need to refer to the manual and um explore what uh, what each of these settings will do but typically when you first switch it on you'll have to set the date and the time so i'll quick quickly show you some of the functionality of the um um, settings that you can so mode um, photo and video so you can shoot uh, photo video or video and photo okay um, photo resolution um, currently set at uh, 5 megapixel and you can You can increase that um, from anywhere up to um, 24 megapixels so it's quite a decent um, quality um, image that you're capturing there um, so you can set the video length uh, cycle storage uh, I think that's something to do with the um, when it runs out of um, storage what does it do does it overwrite or does it keep um, video uh, language time and date and uh, you've also got temperature which is I believe recorded as part of the video uh, okay so I'm going to come out of that and the, so looking at the the cam uh, the camera unit from the the front so that's the main lens there uh, these that one's um these are all PIR sensors and then these are uh, indicator lights to uh, basically to indicate that, um whether it's actually switched on and um, what what it's actually doing without you having to open the cover and um, have a look at the the LCD screen there. Um, you've got um, a USB power port there, so that's a, that's a um, a USB in. Um, to provide additional power uh, to the batteries um, depending on how often you're um, you're kind of using this and um, that sh that will give you additional uh, battery power right so having shot some uh, a little bit of video and some pictures I'm gonna show you how to preview the um, the footage and the pictures on the device so if you open up the device put the on off button into test which is a middle position and press the bottom button which is a mode press it again and that then is uh, the preview mode and with video which this is um, you simply press okay to play the video back
and it also has the time stamp and the uh, the temperature uh, at the time um, and in order to cycle through the pictures and video it's just the up down keys on here